Welcome back, everyone. We are happy to bring back Engel PLC. They're publicly listed on the London Stock Exchange under the symbol AGL and have stock trading in the U.S. as an ADR on the OTC UX under the symbol ANPCY. In the hot liquid biopsy market, they are the only company with an FDA-cleared product for harvesting intact living cancer cells for analysis and have recently been making great progress both commercially on new medical solutions for personalized cancer care. Their chief executive officer, Andrew Newland, is here giving us an update as well as the chief financial officer is also available to help answer any questions. Andrew, Ian, nice to see you, gentlemen. Welcome back. Thank you very much, Anna. Shall I dive straight in? Yes, jump in. Great. I'm very pleased to be back to uh, update the Emerging Growth uh, Conference team because uh, we, we presented on the 8th of February uh, this year and since then there's been a lot of good progress. So. I'm very happy to uh, update you guys. Um, as a recap, uh, we have the first FDA cleared um, product uh, for harvesting circulating tumor cells from patient blood. So I just explained, uh, and what you see here is an image, a side view of our Parsodix instrument, uh, which performs the, um, the duty of recovering cancer cells from a simple blood test. Now, the reason that's important is because cancer changes over time. Uh, each patient will have a different uh, strand of cancer, if you like, and therefore will respond differently to different drugs. And standard of care involves doing a tissue biopsy of the cancer to identify uh, how best to treat the patient. But the problem is that the, uh, the cancer changes over time and that information becomes out of date. Um, and you therefore like to do another tissue biopsy. But of course, that's impossible because by that time, the patient will have had a surgical um, operation to cut out the cancer, and it's not possible to go back and take another tissue biopsy. Uh, so what we've done is we've solved that problem by uh, developing an instrument and consumable that is capable of recovering cancer cells from blood. Now, why would the cancer cells be in the blood? Uh, it's because that's how the cancer spreads. And obviously, as we know, over 90% of patients who die from cancer die from the metastatic spread. So these cancer cells are present in the blood, but they're very difficult to access because there's very small numbers of those cells. Um, so our Parsodix instrument is very simple to use. It's uh, effectively plug and play. So uh, the, um, the patient has a simple blood test, exactly the same as they have for all other blood tests. And this instrument needs a single tube of blood, uh, which is then attached to the center of the instrument here and then the user uh, essentially pushes start and the machine will then flow the blood through a very smart microfluidic uh, cassette, which is a one-time use consumable shown in the top right of this slide. Uh, so that's a, a very smart piece of plastic which has been um, designed and manufactured to high tolerances of uh, plus or minus one micron. So that's thousandths of a millimeter. And uh, by virtue of, of that precision, it's able to recover the cancer cells because of their larger size and uh, lack of compressibility. So, um, and this system is patented worldwide with granted patents in all major territories. So we're well protected as a proprietary technology. So what I presented uh, in February was uh, that we'd had a number of major steps forward um, in the early part of the year. Uh, so we've signed our first large pharmaceutical customer uh, to utilize this system um, using our services business. Um, that's Eside, the big Japanese company. And we've been, uh, our system is being used for a HER2 antibody drug conjugate um, program with the aim in the long term to offer a companion diagnostic to determine which patients, breast cancer patients, would benefit from Eside's uh, HER2 antibody drug conjugate drug. So it's a big advantage uh, with blood tests that you can do it on multiple time points. So you can longitudinally monitor uh, patients in, in clinical trials. And the second major thing that I talked about in February uh, was the breakthrough data that we've uh, published in January, uh, which was the first set of combined DNA analysis uh, of uh, cancer cells and circulating tumor DNA, which were covered from the same tube of blood uh, from the patient. So uh, the, there's a very big push in the liquid biopsy industry uh, to analyze circulating tumor DNA. There's many uh, very high capital, capitalized companies with a lot of investment in them focused on circulating tumor DNA, which is 
fragments of dead cancer cells. And what we demonstrated with data that we presented in January uh, was that if you look at the living cancer cells, intact living cancer cells, the circulating tumor cells, which you can recover with the past audit instrument shown in this uh, slide, uh, then you can get additional DNA variants, in fact, actionable DNA variants, which are not found in the uh, ctDNA, the dead fragments of cancer cells. Uh, and hence, uh, these can be representative of the clonal evolution of the cancer, how the patient's cancer is, uh, is evolving and evading the current therapies and evading the immune system so that the cancer is spreading. And this is new information which we hope in future will guide uh, treatment decisions for doctors and, and where currently patients are put on palliative care because the doctors don't know what is the next treatment they can offer these patients that might be successful. Instead, they might do a simple blood test, process the blood with our parsodic system, recover the cancer cells and get an up-to-date read on what is happening. So those are key uh, developments that I talked about in February. I'm really delighted to say that uh, since then, the momentum in Angle has continued uh, pretty fast. And uh, we had two major developments, um, both of which we presented at the European uh, Breast Cancer Conference, EBCC, in March, so just last month. And the first one was a set of results in relation to Portrait Plus, um, which uh, is uh, shown on the right-hand side of this slide. It's essentially a reagent kit which gives our customers uh, the antibodies needed to stain the cells and look at them underneath the microscope. So what I mean by that is um, you can recover the cancer cells from the blood using parsortics. And now with our new product kit, you can stain those cells with immunofluorescent stains and look at them under a microscope and work out what type, what phenotype of circulating tumor cells are present, how many there are, whether there are any clusters, and also uh, to discriminate those cells from any residual blood cells that may be present. Now, uh, and this, all the antibodies have been optimized over a period of several years by Angle. So we've selected the best antibodies and we've got, the, we believe, the best solution for uh, identifying these cancer cells. And in the past, our customer base uh, has had to develop uh, methods to look at the cells themselves, which is obviously time consuming and challenging and uh, constrains, uh, it used to constrain our market to the top-notch uh, cancer um, centers. Whereas now with this kit, it's a standardized, optimized approach. It's easy to use. It's, it's low cost uh, relative to uh, the alternative, which is to buy the antibodies in-house uh, and do it as a home brew. It's also reliable and reproducible and it will make sure that all of our customers get consistent results. Uh, so we believe that this um, and the results that we published at the European Breast Cancer Conference showed how well uh, this system works with very high um, analytical sensitivity and specificity. So we expect that this will open up a wider market uh, for our parasitic system because now um, many other customers uh, can use the system very easily utilizing our, our solution. The second um, uh, uh, information that was launched at the European Breast Cancer Conference was in relation to our portrait HER2 results. <clears throat> so a couple of technical terms. HER2 is a protein in breast cancer, which is very important for treatment decisions. And it varies over time. Um, and uh, there are drugs which are associated with patients who are HER2 positive. So it's really important to know whether a patient's um, breast cancer is HER2 positive or HER2 low or HER2 negative. And we've developed the ability, uh, shown in uh, some of these images at the bottom of our slide, uh, to look and, and measure the HER2 expression in the cancer cells. And what our data showed was that actually in 28% of patients which had been found to be HER2 negative by their primary tissue biopsy and therefore would not be given HER2 drugs, in 28.6% of them, actually, we found HER2 positive circulating tumor cells, which suggests that their cancer has changed over time and they would now be responsive to these HER2 drugs. Um, and this is obviously very relevant to the work that we're doing at the ESI. As I mentioned, they have a HER2 focused uh, antibody drug conjugate. Um, so th this is opening a, up a completely new way of assessing uh, breast cancer patients over time. And we expect that an, uh, a significant number of our customers will want to adopt this new approach uh, for measuring HER2 on circulating tumor cells. 
So just as a final slide before we go to questions, um, it's very important that um, you get new medical diagnostic systems assessed by the marketplace, by leaders in the market. And uh, we've successfully done that with um, Angle's Parsodic system, such that we now have uh, 41 independent cancer centers around the world uh, who have um, utilized our system in their own labs, and they've generated their own peer-reviewed uh, publications about the parsodic's use in a variety of different cancers. In fact, in 24 different cancer types now. It works without modification across all of those cancer types. And all of these publications have been positive. So we've got a wide and strong body of evidence in support of our parsodic system. So I'll now ha hand over to Anna for a few questions. Thank you very much. Great job, Andrew. Wonderful progress, important technology you guys have. Um, let's talk a little bit about your main customers for your products and services. Who are they? Yeah, so we have a, um, a, a range of different customers in different category groups, actually. So all cancer research centers around the world uh, want to investigate what's happening in cancer in the patient. And at the moment, they can't do repeat analysis because tissue biopsy can only be done once whereas we're offering them a ready access to cancer cells at multiple time points. So cancer research centers are already uh, adopting this uh, quite widely. Um, now, pharmaceutical companies love it because they can do longitudinal monitoring uh, of patients in their drug trials. And actually, Angle has set up a services clinical lab specifically to support them. And here they do a blood test on the patient before they go into a trial. They can, it can also be used to select the patient for uh, which patients would be appropriate for a trial. Then another blood test when they have the drug, and then a third blood test or maybe multiple blood tests after they've had the drug to see what impact that drug is having. So that opens up a completely new way of considering how um, drugs are working effectively and provides the um, pharmaceutical companies with data they don't otherwise uh, get hold of. And obviously the long-term aim is that we can generate ca uh, companion diagnostics so a patient will have a simple blood test and that will select which drug that they should be on. And then the third area which um, we're working on is to get the clinical centers and the hospitals to start to adopt this in order to actually make the right treatment decisions to support their patient's care. And how is Angle positioned in the market compared to other liquid biopsy companies right now? Uh, well, the vast majority of liquid biopsy uh, companies are focused on circulating tumor DNA which, as I mentioned earlier, is fragments of dead cancer cells. And that's very useful uh, uh, to, to, to a point. Uh, so you can analyze DNA uh, from dead cells. But you can't do RNA, gene expression, and you can't do protein expression. So HER2 that I mentioned earlier, pdl one which is a target for immunotherapy, and DNA uh, damage response proteins, for example, none of that can be done unless you've got a, a cancer cell. So we're opening up a completely new uh, universe of tests that you can do on the cancer. And how can one purchase Angle stock currently? So um, Angle's listed on the London Stock Exchange. So if you have a, an international broker, they can certainly buy on the London Stock Exchange. Uh, but in addition, we've listed uh, an a, uh, American deposit uh, receipt, the ADR, on the OTCQX in New York. So it's possible to buy there as well. Perfect. Yeah, the, ticker yeah. is the, the ticker on that is the AMPCY. OK, perfect. Well, give us some closing remarks to your update today, gentlemen. Uh, well, I would say that um, Angle is now at uh, the cusp of uh, significant change. We've been, we spent a number of years uh, developing this product and getting it uh, proved out and FDA cleared, et cetera. But now we're heavily moving into the commercialization phase. The first large pharma contract with Eside was a significant turning point, uh, and we expect to have some others coming through. And in addition to that, the, uh, the differentiation on the DNA reads that you can get from living cancer cells is really quite outstanding. And I, I think that will make a dramatic impact. We're offering the CTDNA companies, by the way, not just competition, but an opportunity to expand their business because they can buy our product and then analyze both CTDNA and CTC DNA from the same sample. Well, congratulations on this immense and important update. Very good progress. Thank you for this. And please come back on in the near future and give us another great update. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. you, gentlemen. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back with Sinestech.